And so if the only reason you don't want to date someone boils down to the fact that they're trans, that's transphobia right there. Let's go over a couple of situations. So if you don't want to date a trans woman because you want kids, well, you better be keeping that same attitude with cis women who are infertile, or that's transphobia. If you don't want to date a trans woman because you're not attracted to trans women, I would absolutely love to know how you're able to identify correctly who is a trans woman on site 100% of the time because that is just impressive. I wish I had that ability. I'd love to be able to have even more trans solidarity. Being super straight is the all lives matter of sexualities. It's not a real sexuality. It literally is just something that's made up to make fun of trans people and to hate on trans people. So, yes, yeah, super straights, I don't respect you and I don't respect that sexuality. Bye! What's wrong with you, bro? What the heck? You tripping, bro. You tripping! Obviously, the war in Iraq was a big, fat mistake, all right? Now, you can take it any way you want, and it took just... It took Jeb Bush, if you remember, at the beginning of his announcement, when he announced for president, took him five days. He went back. It was a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. It took him five days before his people told him what to say. And he ultimately said it was a mistake. The war in Iraq, we spent $2 trillion, thousands of lives. We don't even have it. Iran is taking over Iraq with the second largest oil reserves in the world. Obviously, it was a mistake. So George Bush made a mistake. We so can make mistakes, but that one was a beauty. We should have never been in Iraq. We have destabilized right. the Middle East. But so you, so I'm gonna, it's, so, you, so you still think he should be in peace? I think it's my turn, isn't it? You do whatever you want. You call it whatever you want. I want to tell you. They lied. Okay. They said there were weapons of mass destruction. There were none, and they knew there were none. There were no weapons of mass uh, okay. destruction. Okay. Over the last few years, a lot of great things, and you're paying, what, $2 a gallon for your gasoline? That's okay. You know what that's like? That's like a tax cut. That's bigger than a tax cut. If Biden got in, you'd be paying $7, $8, $9. Didn't they say, get rid of your car? Prices at some local gas stations, they're way above the average. Well, across the street from the Beverly Center, one of the most expensive places in L.A., drivers are paying this, nearly $7 for regular unleaded, nearly $8 for premium. Drivers said they were surprised and not in a good way. If woman sees me as woman, yes. If woman sees me as non-binary, yes. If woman sees me as man, no. If man sees me as man, yes. If man sees me as non-binary, fine. If man sees me as woman, no. If non-binary see me at all, yes. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? If I walk through a high crime neighborhood waving $100 bills above my head and then I am robbed, yeah. then it is the fault of the person who robs me. It is not my fault. Mm -hmm. But I also made a bad decision to do that. Yes. Okay, so two things can be true at once. Mm -hmm. And it is not blaming the victim to say that it's a bad decision to walk through a high crime neighborhood at night waving your wallet over your head. Yeah. Right? It is, it is also not a good idea to go to parties where drinking and drugs are commonplace mm -hmm. with a bunch of guys who are pigs. Yes. Right? That's just not a good idea. Mm -hmm. Now, does that relieve responsibility from the guys? 100% not. If a guy rapes you or sexually assaults you, he should be castrated or killed. My name is Nathan, and I would like to ask you, sir, why are trans rights your main argument for freedom of speech when there are so many pressing issues that matter more? Because the main argument against freedom of speech that is being made in today's America is that you ought to be deplatformed, banned from social media, maybe ostracized socially, and maybe targeted governmentally if you refuse to go along with the basic biological lie that a male is a female or a female can be a male. That, that is a, it is a large-scale attack on freedom of speech. This is a large-scale defense of freedom of speech on the same point. Thank you. Basically, like, if they have their baby, they can neglect them for seven days, and if the baby dies, 
then they can't be held criminally liable. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think whatever like helps women and helps them achieve their like dreams and however that needs to like happen is definitely acts to help that is helping all of us. So, so I prefer that most women make their decisions at eight weeks, mm -hmm. but if but I'm also in support of 10 months out of the womb. So you think babies should be aborted 10 months after they're born? If, if the mother wants to, yes. I think fuck them kids. So if like you want to get a late term abortion, like that's up to you. You know, I've had an abortion too and it's, it's, it was my choice and I'm happy I had that choice. I've had an abortion myself. Would you guys get an abortion again? Yes. 100%. 100 yeah. times. I'd do it multiple times. Until I feel that I'm ready to parent, um, that's the choice I'll continue to make. Why are weak men such a problem? Well, weak people are a problem. And, and I don't mean physically weak. I mean cowardly, let's say, and, and deceitful. Well, there's a variety of reasons. Is First of all, if you can't support your own weight, let's say, then someone else has to do it. And that's not good. And then if you don't pick a forthright and useful and noble pathway through life, then you'll become bitter and, and, and too hurt by the tragedy of existence. And then you tend to seek your revenge wherever you can get it. And that's not good. So it's a, it's a mistake on all fronts. It's not good for you. It's not good for your family. It's not good for the community. Um, it's certainly not a good medium to long-term strategy because life is very, very difficult. And you have to be prepared for that. What I'm trying to say to you is that the economy is in a better place than it has been historically. <laughs> Are you serious? That well, I'm afraid. not even talking about social context. I'm just, I'm just trying to start by getting to the truth, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm really uncomfortable with that language of like g getting to the truth again in social why, why life. Is that, why is that uncomfortable? Because that, it sounds actually deeply transphobic to me. Um, and, if you, and, and if you keep probing, we're going to stop the interview. I, if I probe about what the truth is? You keep invoking the word truth, which is condescending and rude. I'm saying is, to you... How is the word truth condescending and rude? Why don't you tell me what your truth is and you're walking on 30 seconds more of the ice before I get up. What my truth... I see this news report where Biden is so frustrated that his approval ratings are in the toilet. He, he can't understand it. He's lashing out at his staff. He's blaming other people. He's blaming the media, even though he gets the most sycophantic media coverage that any president has ever gotten compared how they treat, treated Trump to how they treat Biden. It's night and day. And so he's, he's trying to make excuses. And I'm just thinking to myself, you know, what has he done since he came into office? He immediately, immediately waged war against American energy production. You see record gas prices in the United States? Well, that's a big reason why, because of his policies. You look at what they did in terms of fiscal and monetary, printing and borrowing trillions and trillions of dollars. What did you get for that? The most sustained inflation this country has seen in over 40 years. He advocated for and imposed mandates and restrictions related to COVID, including having people fired from their job based on getting a COVID jab or not. Uh, that has had a hugely negative impact uh, on the economy and he failed to take leadership and take decisive action to alleviate the supply chain crisis that we've seen uh, really beguiling not only this country, but places around the world. And so he has created the circumstances that have led to this resounding disapproval of what he has done. He would have been better off and we would be better off if he had simply got into office and did nothing than what he has done so far. in America, honest to God question for you, not rhetorical. Is this everything that we're seeing two years into Joe Biden's presidency really what you voted for? Is war in Eastern Europe and as a consequence conflict in China and Asia and the Middle East really what you voted for?
Is the highest inflation we've seen in like 50 years really what you voted for? Are the highest average gas prices this country has ever seen really what you voted for? Is the Democrat Party continuing to attempt to legalize infanticide on a state-by-state -state basis really what you voted for? Is teaching black kids through CRT that they will never be successful in this country based on the color of their skin really what you voted for? Or teaching kindergartners about sex really what you voted for? Honest to God question, because I have a hard time believing liberals in this country can't admit the Democrat Party has left them behind. What am I doing right now? I'm pumping my gas and I'm fighting systemic racism and I'm saving lives. I will gladly pay more money for my gas as long as Donald Trump is not in the White House. If you have a problem with paying more for gas, then maybe you're just homophobic and you're a bigot. You know, I'm protecting our democracy right now, and I'm fighting for Ukraine. What are you doing, you anti-vax conspiracy theorist, you science denier? What are you doing? Nothing! Nothing!